Today I'm taking the journey to Colne in Lancashire. I'm here at TNR Precision Engineering. Now I'm here with Howard from NCMT. Now Howard, what a journey with these guys. Now, one thing I want to know a little bit about is that NCMT are very well known for turnkey solution and this um, Akuma MU5000V, which is the five axis machining center with a massive robot for automation, is a really big machine for these guys. But one thing that really helped sell it was a thing called turn cut. Can you explain what turn cut is? Yeah, certainly, Mark. Um, well, turn cut has, uh, has been something that's been around for quite a long time with Akuma. Uh, it was originally launched in the UK in, in the year 2000 at Mac. So we, we've known it for quite a long time and understand the process on the machine. Uh, but basically what it is, is uh, single point cutting. So the spindle is synchronized with the, and it controlled with the axes and when you circle interpolating around a part. So you can actually profile turn a part, whether that be internal bores or external, um, you know, so that where the parts offset from the axes from the centre of rotation on a five axis machine. So is turn cut available with some of the other machines that Akuma supply? Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, well, it was originally developed with the horizontal machine. So if you're putting a large valve on a, on a, you know, on a horizontal, you can get all the way around it on the B axis. So you can position, you know, do boring and um, you know, profile bores of, of port forms. And then it was developed on the Multus machine, so a mill turn tool change lathe in 2016. We launched that at Mac. And uh, more recently on the MU series five axis machine, which was developed uh, around 2018, which is what we've you know, put on this machine. With NCMT, Howard, you, you're very much like a, like a consultative sow. And when Turnkey comes into it with uh, putting a, a package together for a company, you've got a lot of uh, energy and also you've got a lot of experience. Now, tell me a little bit about this machine. Why did you place this machine with the automation to actually get the best out of that component for TNR? That's a very good point, that Mark, actually, because originally we were talking to TNR about the work holding and the, the actual fixturing concept, and then it resulted in just showing a video of the turn cut process of the M being developed on the MU series machine, and that allowed us to be able to use the turn cut to then produce their parts. Uh, and when you look at uh, the, the ability of this machine, you know, what are, the main, what, what are the main benefits on this machine to actually make sure that part comes off in one hit very accurately as well? Yeah, well, when you're using the turn cut process, you, you need to have certain options with the machine to make that work. So you need the turn cut software. You also need ABSO scales, so that's controlling the accuracy of the process. Uh, you need through ball screw cooling, um, which is on a standard on the MU series machines anyway. Um, and also you need super nerves as well because you can imagine there's a, a lot of code being generated there to, to be able to process that and, and process it accurately. Uh, and I understand they've got in-process measurement on this machine as well. Yeah, they have. They've got dual probing on the machine, um, which is part of the specification. So what they do is they, they probe the part so that it, they can check the datum and align that with the spindle, but then they also do a measurement cycle as well so that they, they know the part is you know, correct and they can, then they can identify which part has been done on the machine at, at that precise time. Uh, and one thing which uh, is, is quite key with Akuma is, is the thermal friendly ability as well, isn't it? Yeah, well, with, with Akuma they have a lot of intelligent technologies on the machine and uh, the thermal friendly concept, which is temperature sensors strategically placed around the, the machine, constantly monitored, monitoring the, uh, the, the change in temperature, to get it accurately and they strive to get it under 10 microns now in most cases they're getting around 5 to 8 microns so they've really got a very accurate platform there and then other intelligent technologies uh, that we have on here our machining navi is on there as well the turn cut is an intelligent technology as well that's a good point actually because akuma actually developed their own software at the end of the day so they, there's no third party intervention to a certain extent it's all controlled by by akuma but when you look at this investment by TNR Precision, this is really future proof in their business, but giving them the ability to use technology transfer in, their, say, aerospace into other areas because of flexibility of this machine. Yeah, well, you've got a very flexible machine, as you say, Mark, and um, you know they've got a, a cell row system, and you know the the way that it went from TNR visiting us, you know, from being an initial fixturing, you know, uh, investigation. You know, quickly became putting turn cut on the machine, implementing the turn cut process, and then it was automating the process as well. So 
you know, with the MU series machine, they've developed a new concept on the machine so you can automate it from the back side of the machine, putting an auto door in. So you can have it as a twin pallet, you can have it as a, a multi pallet machine, you can have it as a Fastums. But in, in this case, we put a Celro robot system on with 30 pallets there. We, we changed the, the table so it's got a new hydraulic table on there, which we went through Telbrook uh, to supply that. So that enables them to load up the pallets, the, one of the 30 pallets, but you can also put through the hydraulics, you could put an auto vice on there, hydraulic vice, so you could actually load in raw material. So the future proof in it for the you know for the cell for you know leading you know for other components you know, later down the line. How would you say initially they uh, came to see you in reference to uh, the, the actual fixturing? But bearing in mind you guys are turnkey, do, do you use your uh, abilities in Europe to actually help some of these turnkey projects? Yeah, well, uh, like I say, TNR came down to visit us and, uh, you know, looking at the fixturing concepts and that developed through the, you know, the, t the turn cut process eventually. And um, what we needed to do was we needed to prove that the turn cut process could actually work and do it accurately um, because we've had the process out for many years, as I say. So we, uh, we didn't have a machine to prove it on in the UK. So uh, Akuma Europe Germany, OEG as we call them, they have a technical centre in Langenau, which is near Ulm in South Germany. Uh, so we went out to do a, a test cut, a cutting trial, uh, took a block of Inconel out there and we produced their, their form on the, on the block of Inconel and, and cut it to 23 micron roundness. And we can actually achieve better than that. We've had, we've had under 20 micron roundness using a turn cut process. So there was a, a lot of development getting to that point in support from NCMT, support from OEG in Germany, but ultimately a, a you know, big part of that was uh, developing the process with TNR engineers. Um, Graham you know, was uh, very, very much uh, in the process in thinking about getting that part on the fixture and, uh, and making it work. So they've got some great engineers here at TNR. And I think when you're investing the amount of money this uh, concept actually offers, it's very much a collaboration, it's very much turnkey and it's a great uh, success for UK manufacturing. But for any engineers that uh, may be looking to solve uh, issues from going from so many ops to one op, uh, getting the right concept, what's your message from NCMT? Uh, well, come and see us, it's what we do. You know, um, we, we've, NCMT have um, built up a strong reputation of engineered turnkey solutions over the years. So, so that can be anything like this. It can be a twin pallet machine, but with a, a strong degree of of uh, you know fixturing and, and improve out on the engineering um, or we can look at you know linking in a line of machines with a robot line system um, you know it can be a, a lathe a machining center a five axis machine you know so whatever that is so come and talk to us you know we can develop a process with you